Today we continue our food finds journey in San Leandro. Spring is in the air and these magnolias along the street are a showstopper. This town is like that, you'll find amazing hidden gems everywhere if you look. So come along, can't wait to show you what I find to eat this time. San Leandro is such a colorful, vibrant and diverse city. Okay, let's go to these angry guys first. Just kidding, they're super nice. Look at this cute outdoor seating private room with heat lamps. So cozy. This place makes handcrafted ramen creations by making the ramen by hand each day. That's such dedication, who does that still? Nowadays when everything needs to be fast. Inside, I love its modern decor and open view kitchen. Look at the size of those pots, used to make your soup that takes hours of work. Their gyozas have a delicate wrap and crispy edges, a mix of crunchy and soft and savory. Check out the yummy pork bone broth, so thick and amazing aroma. Made with pork bone broth, char siu soft boiled egg, good ear mushrooms and green onions. Notice these handmade ramen are on the thinner side. So smooth. Soft boiled egg, nicely done. For those that want to go lighter, you might want to go for this shio chicken broth. Shio ramen is made with chicken broth, bamboo shoots, chashu, soft boiled eggs, and green onion. I tend to like thicker tonkatsu broth better because I like strong flavors. How about you? Did you know they also have a sister restaurant? The lunch bentos are very large portion and tasty. My hamachi roll was pretty good too, but maybe I'll skip the mayo sauce next time. Next, I want to show you this amazing little place. I can't say they have amazing pastries, but they have pretty much everything you ever want if you want to pick up from a Chinese bakery and restaurant. Very impressive selection of nostalgic pastries and cakes, as well as a full menu of noodles and rice dishes. Oh look, their breads are proving and rising. And this is the finished product, soft and pillowy coconut sweet buns. Not to be confused with this other long-time staple in the Manor District. Due to COVID, you can only order from the outsider store, now with limited menu items. This place has noodles and stuff, but I think they excel in their dim sums. As you can see, there are lots to choose from. Nothing fancy but good neighborhood place when you just want to pick up something quick and good. Since outdoor dining opened up again, I wanted to try this place inside the manor area of San Leandro. I could almost imagine myself sitting in the patio in Mexico vacationing. Tasteful patio and heat lamps in case it gets chilly, what a great place to have some authentic Mexican cuisine and order a drink from their full bar. Today, I'm here to have one of their seafood specialties. I mean, do I need to say any more? This gigantic yummy bowl of sea creatures. Crab legs, mussels, three kinds of shrimp, snapper, base scallop, clams, and squid. Served steaming hot in the stone mocajete. Going straight for the crab, of course. I chose the garlic sauce this time, but there's also a spicy one. So yummy. The crab totally soaked up all the garlicky sauce and its flavors enhanced. I'm totally in a zone now, just me and my yummy sea creatures. There's no such thing as too much of a good thing. I can eat this every day for a year and be okay with that. Whenever I come here, I feel like I've gone a few decades back in time. Don't be fooled by its name. They serve a lot more than just pizzas. They specialize in chicken and pastas too. 
These days, they are certainly busy with their own fleet of delivery trucks. Sure, the food is not the healthiest, but it is hearty. And it certainly pizzas the way they used to be, before low-carb and vegan crust. Our trip is not complete until desserts. This place has been a favorite in the area for decades. Check out that storefront. I'm sure the lighting and fixtures were here when they first opened many years ago. I'm surprised that a little shop like this has so many ice cream flavors. The mint chocolate was pretty good, but the black cherry is to die for. My new favorite. As outdoor and indoor dining gradually opens up again, I want to remind you guys to stay the course and stay safe. See you guys next time at another episode of Bay Area Food Trips. Thanks for watching.